Well, the brain jackass is about to get another fucking fat wrong, wrong, wrong. I had, I had to reject, reject hell. And, and hell isn't even supported in the Bible, Bible honestly. honestly. Bullshit. Have you read Luke chapter 16, Jesus' the parable of the rich man and Lazarus? Have you read what Jesus in his parables talking about? Where people shall be thrown into the furnace of fire. And there shall be weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. And you say, you say, have you read your fucking Bible, you jackass? The Christian concept of hell was, was, was taken from Dante's Inferno. Bull fucking shit, you liar. You're a bald faced liar, you son of a bitch. With your dead fucking granddaughter probably in hell right now. Have you read the books of the Maccabees before the New Testaments? When Antiochus Epiphanes is putting to death Jews who refuse to sacrifice a pig to the, the idols. They, they're, they're telling Antiochus Epiphanes that he's gonna burn. He's gonna burn. Where the fuck do you think Dante got the idea of hell in the first fucking place? In this book right here. This book right here. The Black Bat with the Bible. You fucking goddamn lying son of a bitch dog jackass talking jackass Balaam's talking fucking donkey goddamn son of a bitch. I wouldn't be so angry and hateful to you if you only debunk my evidence. And don't you dare, if you decide to debunk my evidence, say, oh, the stories never happened. That's the easy way out. They happen. They're documented as having happened. So don't you dare try to just write it off. How, how would Matt Diddle Honey feel if I say he was never a Christian? When Matt Diddle Honey knows he was a fucking Christian before he deconverted. De you fucking bitch. It was, it was not, not taken, taken from, from the Bible because the Bible describes you all. It's virtually the same thing as Hades, where everybody, everybody dies. No That's in the old fucking testament, God damn it. No matter whether they were good or bad, no matter what of their deeds of life, they all go into the land of the dead where they remain dead. Dead souls. That's in the old goddamn testament. Have you not read Luke chapter fucking 16? Have you not read the goddamn parables of Jesus Christ, you motherfucker? And they don't do anything. So what about what about the prophet Samuel, whom the witch of Endor raised in a seance? And Samuel's spirit, if that's true, if there's other Old Testament stories are true, asked her, why has thou disquieted me to bring me up? There's, there's no, no reality, reality in hell, hell even in your own scriptures. <laughs> What about all the people, atheists, like Voltaire, when he was dying, he was terrified dying. He knew he was going to hell. What about, I got a book you need to read. Oh, Aaron Roth. Aaron Roth. How do you find the bitch? Anyways. The name of the book is Voices on the Edge of Eternity. People who are dying... Being taken to hell, seeing hell. I want you to be aware of that. You might not want to look up Dante's. <laughs> no, no, no. I look up. I look, look up something to you. I'm about to bust your bullshit, you stupid son of a bitch. Turn with me. Turn with me. In your fucking Bible to goddamn Luke fucking 16. You talking Balaam's jackass. Don't worry, I don't like that concept of people burning forever in hell either. But I got no choice in the matter, I got to believe. The evidence is just too strong. Listen to J. Harold Smith's sermon, God's Three Deadlines.
Read Luke 16. We'll start at verse 20. And there is a certain... No, I'm not going to read because my stroke won't let me read. Start with verse... At 19. And read down to 31. It's as clear as the it's as crystal clear as a nose on your goddamn motherfucking fifty year old fucking face. He's describing a burning hell after the motherfucker died. One of the reasons I'm so goddamn angry, I'll curse God for this. If I did not get my hair transplant to look young, I curse the Holy Ghost. I don't give a fuck. If I cannot be good looking and have my hair, I don't give a fuck what happens to me, you son of a bitch. I'll join your fuck, fucking granddaughter. I don't want to, but I'll be goddamn fine. I'll be happy without my goddamn hair transplant. Now, I curse God. I cannot get the money on social media like you, Ten. I'm jealous, Aaron Rod. I'm jealous. You can, you got, you could buy my hair transplants, and not even miss it with the money you're making from social media. Because, but because I'm not good looking, I can't get a following on social media. Now I curse the throne that goddamn God sits on for this. I curse you, God. And fuck you too, Aaron Raw, for not debate debunking my evidence. You think you're going to get me to deconvert? Sucker. She never do it. This evidence will not let me. And besides, well, I, I, know, I, I know Jesus. 